You know how I spend my Valentine's Day? Gushing over baby Sonic. Hey everyone, this is Rabdeer's Blog and welcome to my in theater movie reviews. So today's movie that I'll be reviewing today is Sonic the Hedgehog. And before I get into my thoughts about this movie, here are a few words from the channel. Hey guys, if you want to check out more content from this channel, then tune in every Sunday and Monday for new videos. And if you happen to see any videos posted up during the week, that means that there was a bit of movie and TV news that I wanted to talk about, so those will be considered special videos. And if you want to chat with me on social media or see when new videos are being released, then follow me through Twitter and Facebook. And also, please feel free to join the new Facebook group, Rabbit Ears Blocks Reviews 2.0, where we talk about movies, TV shows, and video games with other fans of the genres. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So the movie is spent on Sonic the Hedgehog trying to run away from the U.S. government as the government discovers that Sonic has these powers that are very powerful and the fact that he's an alien, at least to them, got their interest. And so they decide to hire Dr. Robotnik to try to take down Sonic and bring him to the U.S. government. But meanwhile, along the way, Sonic meets up with a guy named Tom, who's a cop, and Sonic ends up becoming fast friends with Tom, and Tom tries to help Sonic escape from the U.S. government at all costs. So, what are my thoughts about this movie? Well, when I first saw the trailer for this movie, the very first trailer with Monster Sonic, I was actually not that excited about the movie the first time because I didn't like how Sonic's design looked, and then I was worried about the plot of the story, like it has Sonic befriending a human character, and it seemed like it was going to be similar to Sonic X, where Sonic was friends with a human character, and the series focused mostly on Sonic's human friend Chris rather than on Sonic himself. But it turned out that this movie was actually better than I expected. Like, I really enjoyed this movie and I liked the liberties they took with the franchise itself and they were able to do something different with this franchise. I love the way that they portray Sonic in this movie as Sonic is shown as being a reckless teenager who just wants to have friends and the reason why he didn't have any friends was because his surrogate mother, the owl at the beginning of the movie, told him to not showcase his powers because people are after him for his powers and so Sonic spent most of his years hiding away from civilization so that way nobody would discover his powers and because of that he became so lonely over the years so him trying to make friends with Tom was really inspiring and it made feel a lot for Sonic's character because we don't know much about Sonic's character from the games like we got some snippets about his backstory in the original games but this movie actually gave Sonic more depth to his character like they said he was lonely because he had to spend most of his time hiding from civilization unless they try to steal his powers or something like that and when Sonic finally makes a friend with Tom he's like oh you know I don't have to hide anymore there's actually somebody who doesn't care if I have these powers and who's willing to look out for me despite the government or Robotnik trying to go after me because of my powers and I like that aspect of Sonic's character a lot I also really like Tom as a character because at first when I heard that they were going to have a human protagonist in this film I was thinking to myself oh this film is going to be all about Tom and it's not going to be about Sonic at all but I was wrong this film actually focuses a lot on Sonic, but Tom was a very interesting character in himself because he's shown that he wants to be good friends with Sonic, but he's also like, you know, I don't want to get involved in whatever's going on between you and the U.S. government and Dr. Robotnik. You know, I just want to get back to my normal life. But he's like, you know, I want to be friends with you too, and I understand how lonely you are. So I do like that relationship between Sonic and Tom, as Tom is like, you know, he wants to be Sonic's friend, and Sonic's like, you know, Tom, you're my first friend, so I'll do everything I can to protect you. And I I really like that relationship between Sonic and Tom as a whole. But the one character that I really liked in this film was Jim Carrey's take on Dr. Robotnik. Now when I first heard about Jim Carrey becoming Dr. Robotnik I was like eh I don't know. I mean I like a lot of things that Jim Carrey was in but I don't know how he's going to take the role as Dr. Robotnik or what he's going to be like as Dr. Robotnik because Jim Carrey tends to go overboard with his roles and in this movie he definitely does go overboard with his roles but it's done in a way that's both funny and threatening and that's what I like about how Jim Carrey did Dr. Robotnik's portrayal and I really enjoyed every screen time that Jim Carrey was on the screen as he was portraying Dr. Robotnik and he gave a very interesting take on Dr. Robotnik as a character as he made Dr. Robotnik more funny but also threatening at the same time so I really like that aspect of Dr. Robotnik's character in this film. And then I also really enjoyed the comedy in this film. Like one of my biggest concerns about this film was that I was concerned about how much the comedy is going to take from the film. 
Like, is it going to make the film too comedic to the point where we don't really have a good story? But no, the comedy really balanced out the characters very well. And I actually found myself chuckling a lot or laughing a lot at a lot of scenes in the movie. And most of those scenes go to Sonic's betrayal and to Dr. Robotnik's betrayal. And I think those two characters were the funniest characters in the entire movie. And the comedy really lent itself so well to these scenes. I also like the heartfelt nature of this story. Like, I like the fact that the core of the story is about Sonic trying to find a friend, but he's still trying to keep his powers a secret because, of course, the government is going to come after him, and so does Dr. Robotnik. And because of that, it makes him really lonely, and he couldn't really interact with anybody because of that. And I like the fact that the core of the story was Sonic trying to find a friend, and he finds a friend in Tom who's willing to take him in. And I really like that aspect of the story, and it made this movie very heartwarming to watch. And, of course, I got to give props to the special effects in this movie. I really like the way that they made Sonic have these lightning like powers that really goes well with his speed powers it really made the special effects stick out so well now i do have some problems with this movie like one of my main problems with this movie is that i felt like that the plot went by too fast see what i did there going too fast anyway i felt like the plot went by too fast and there were times where i wish that they kind of explained certain characters motives a bit better like i felt like they could have spend more time on Sonic's surrogate mother the hour at the beginning of the film and see what she was like as a character and then I also wanted to see them develop the townspeople a little more like I felt like they were introduced to show just how quirky the townsfolk were of Green Hills but I felt like we didn't get enough time with the townspeople like Tom's partner and Maddie's sister and I felt like we could have spent more time with the townspeople of Green Hills and see what they were like as characters and see how they react to Sonic himself. And as I mentioned, I wish that they gave more attention to the secondary characters or at least develop the secondary characters a bit better so that way we'd know a lot more about these characters and they wouldn't feel like they were just thrown into the movie because it's like the movie's like, you know, we gotta have some more characters introduced into this movie besides Tom, Sonic, and Maddie. So let's introduce all these characters but not really developing them well. So I wish that they developed the secondary characters a bit better. So overall, my rating for this movie is a definite big buy it if you're a Sonic the Hedgehog fans chances are you're going to really enjoy this movie this movie has a lot of comedy and it has a lot of heart and if you're a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan you're going to like all the references it made to the video games itself and it made me like really excited to see all those aspects from the games come into this movie and use it in a way that makes the story so interesting and relevant and also, you can't forget about the stinger at the end of the movie in the credits. That got me really excited for a possible sequel from this movie. So I'm really excited to see the sequel of this movie if it ever does get made. And even if you're not a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan, chances are you're going to really like the heartfelt story about Sonic trying to find a friend and Tom becoming friends with Sonic. And you get to see Tom's life with Maddie. And if you like romance or you like stories about friendship, you'll definitely enjoy that aspect of this movie. Hope you guys enjoyed my review on Sonic the Hedgehog. And tell me in the comments down below, have you seen Sonic the Hedgehog? And if you have, did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? And what other video game characters do you want to see get their movies next? Please feel free to comment down below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Robbie's Vlog, and I'll see you guys later.